there's some of you in here the things that you're finding yourself in the mindset situations your predicaments that you're finding yourself in he is the good shepherd his rod and his staff it does guide you but I think what a lot of us miss is that it's a partnership he's not he's a gentleman he won't force himself in He's not going to be like everybody else who, who, who waits on you. I mean, he is waiting on you. But how long are you going to have him wait? Come on. How long do you want to stay in that situation? <laughs> how long? How much longer? How much more time do you need? Because now is the time. I don't know if anybody's ever told y'all this, but he is coming. He is riding in. He's getting ready to descend. So like I said earlier, if he was to be here in this room, <laughs> what would you do? Would we stand still? Truly, would we stand still? Is it because we're not walking out in faith? Have you not seen the miracle signs and wonders that he has done for your life? A lot of you have children in this place. Has he not protected, guided? Has he not ordered their step in the, according to his will? If not for you, then what about them? We ought to worship. Boy, and it is. We ought to worship like he is in this room right here. We ought to shout as if he's in this room right here. We ought to lift up our hands as if he's in this room right here. Because if he was standing with you face to face, what would you do? What would you do? <laughs> so we're just going to go one more time. Because maybe now it's starting to click. Maybe now the wheels are starting to turn. But the song is simple. It says it for you. Hallelujah. That is the highest praise we can give God. Hallelujah. I am not alone. Because he is. He is. Ooh. He is. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I might look like a fool to some of you in this room. But I look back on and I see that he is my comfort. He has always hold me close. And sometimes, sometimes I even find myself on my knees just ready to cry out to him. Just ready to kneel before him. Just ready to give him my all. Sometimes this position looks like the only position that you have. So if you got to get into this posture of worship, I dare you. I dare you to do so. And watch what he does. 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 
posture right here for every single one of us, whether we're on our knees, whether we're on our two feet, whether our hands are lifted in this place. This is the posture of worship that we will forever have from this day forward, from this day forward, Father. Because if you did it before, you're surely going to do it again. You are the God of the yesterday, today, and forevermore, Father. So we stand on that promise. Your promises are yes and amen. Your promises are yes and amen over our lives. So the yoke, Father God, the, the yoke of burdens, Father, the yoke of stress, the yoke of worries, the yoke of doubts, the yoke of war unworthiness, Father God. We remove that yoke right now, God. Why you did it? We remove that yoke because it says into you in your word, come to me, all who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Because my yoke, his yoke is easy. Why? Jesus' yoke is easier to carry. <laughs> He wants the yoke that we're carrying. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. And he wants to bless you. He wants to open up the windows. He's pouring it out right now. He's doing it. He's doing it. But you cannot receive it if you're still full of yourselves. So we empty ourselves of ourselves, Father. And we take off the yoke of the world. Take off the yoke of busyness. The yoke of tiredness. The yoke of feeling fatigue, Father. And we take up your yoke because it strengthens. Because it gives joy. Because it brings peace, Father God. We lift up our hands unto you with our tie and heart abandoned, Father. And we say, we want you, God. We need you, God. We need you, God. We need you, God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing it, Father. You're having your way right now. You're having your way right now in the hearts of your people. I see it. It's being lifted right now. He is the lifter of your head. Uh, he is the the he is the heavy burden carrier. He's going, he's doing it right now. I see it. It's lifting off of you in this place because of the posture of worship that you're finding yourself into right now. He's lifting it. He's lifting it. He's lifting it. He's lifting it. The Holy Spirit is now beginning to, to speak into your life. He's beginning to speak into the areas that have been hardened, the areas that have been locked up. He has the key and he's coming right on in. He's going to be doing things that you might not even think or imagine this week, but you be ready because the good God, the good shepherd is on his way. He is on his way. He is on his way. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for doing it, Father. And so now the rest of the service is yours because you're already doing what you want to do. And that's what we want, Father. We want what you want to do. Because your ways are greater. They're higher. They're more better for us, Father God. There's, there's, there's better for us, God. So have your way right now. Continue to have your way through the word that your servant has prepared for, for us today. May our hearts be ready and cultivated, ready to receive. May all distractions be gone now in the name of Jesus. May all um, just feelings of, that are not of you, that are not of the fruit of the Spirit, may it all be gone now in the name of Jesus so that we can receive all that you have asked your servant to prepare for, Father. I pray that you continue to anoint him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Order his steps according to your will. Have your way in him. Holy Spirit, I know that you're already speaking, so we say that you have your way within him as well. We thank you, Father. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. All these things we pray. Whoa. All these things we pray through the mighty and matchless name of Jesus and all God's people say. Amen. All God's people say. Amen. Amen.